Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Willie's Cacao Bars. We bought these at Jungle Gems International Market. They were $3.99 each. And uh, Kevin saw these and they had more flavors. Oh, but these are the ones, uh, Kevin picked out all four of these flavors. So the, both of these are Venezuelan. This is the Sea Flakes Milk Chocolate with Sea Salt. This is Almendra Dark Chocolate with Roasted Almonds. This one is Milk of the Stars. It's Indonesian and it is um, Intense Milk Chocolate Soft Caramel Bits or Notes. And this one's Luscious Orange Dark Chocolate with del um, Delicate Orange. So these, um, there we go, and here's scissors if you need them. These are um, actually made in the UK. Made in the UK by Willie's Cacao. So you'll have to let us know if you see this brand in the UK. Never seen it here before except for Jungle Gems. Travel inspired something desired. When I crunch into the soft flakes of sea salt buried in this beautiful single estate Rio milk chocolate, it takes me back to my childhood in Southern Ireland, heading far out to sea to collect clear water, gently evaporating it off and watching the delicate crystals form. I make all my chocolate in small batches, bean to bar from the world's great single estate cacaos. Salt is a source of life with cacao, it becomes a source of dreams. Two servings per container. Half the bar is 140 calories. So eight, oh, eight squares. And they're little pieces. I like chocolate and salt too. Hmm. Definitely brings the salt. Hmm. It's nice. It's almost too salty. It's up there. See, it's not for me. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's not, but it's up there. I, I absolutely... Um, that's very good. Good quality chocolate, too. Uh, yes. The chocolate <coughs> is... Um, the chocolate is not like Cadbury. No, it's not a super sweet... Or Milka. Creamy. Well, it's not... It's creamy. Yeah, it's not creamy. It's not a sweet either. Honestly. It is. It is nice. I like it, but it does, if you're used to, if you're in the UK and you're used to that creaminess of Cadbury or the creaminess of Milka or uh, Lent, this is different. Um, but I do like the sweetness, the, the level. It's not over the top sweet, but it had a nice salt content. Yeah, oh yeah. Now this one is dark chocolate with roasted almonds. And it is 150. It we go up. Milk chocolate was 140 for half the bar. Uh, the the dark chocolate's 150 for half the bar. Yeah, nuts so. though. I like the texture of the boys that are dark chocolate. I mean, wow. It's that very bitter. <laughs> That will dry. Mm -hmm. You could only eat one square of that at a time. It, it probably doesn't even say how about percentages, does it? Uh, seventy percent. Oh, uh, it seems like it seems darker than that. The milk chocolate was forty-four. Yeah. So we went from forty-four to seventy. That's quite the range. It is. It seems like it's darker than that even. And these are Marcona almonds. Mm -hmm. it says it's good. The king of the nut world. It's good, it just is very, very dark. So if you like dark chocolate, you'll love that because it has everything yes. you want in a dark chocolate. It really does dry your mouth out. Mm -hmm. It, um, I like the snap of it, yeah. the, oh, the yeah. texture of it. Yeah, you get all the almonds I in it. I like there. the almonds in it. it. Yes, that is nice. The next one. This is the one I was looking Now for. those were both Venezuelan. Right. So this one is, it says Milk of the Stars. It's <laughs> Indonesian. Intense milk chocolate, soft caramel notes. And it is 150 calories for half the bar. Yeah, and this chocolate doesn't look quite as dark. Hmm. Probably the same. That better? I didn't hand it to you. <laughs> hmm. That's softer even than the first one.
This that, is fifty four percent. That one actually feels a little smoother and creamier, but I don't necessarily like the caramel flavor. Ah, no. It's different. It's not bad. It's not bad, but I wouldn't choose that one. It's uh, I I would prefer the first milk chocolate mm -hmm. one that we had because it is um, it's sweeter. This one. Um, we, yeah, we've moved up from 40, what was it, uh, 40. 44, 44% to 54%, and I'd rather have the, the pure milk chocolate, um, and that's even, I think, a little high, uh, higher than the, what we're probably used to for milk chocolate. Um, this has, there's something, the caramel isn't as sweet as what I'm used to. Yeah, the caramel has a different flavor for me. The chocolate yeah. itself is fine. I like the chocolate itself. I think it's the caramel that they put in there. Is, There's or whatever caramel flavoring they put in there because you don't see little pieces of anything in there. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, <clears throat> I would just prefer the Venezuelan to this one. Yeah, yeah. The last one is Cuban. And it is luscious orange, dark chocolate with delicate orange. Ooh, wow, that, that's delicate orange. Okay. Oh, is that dark chocolate, did you say? Yes, it's, it's 65%. Pretty, it's got a heck of a snap. So the other one we had was 70, and this is 140 calories for half a bar. This is vegan. Are they all vegan? I think they're all vegan. Don't have to crumble. Okay. I like that orange. The orange really comes through. Two of them, I'm very, very clearly seeing vegan on them. Two of them, I'm not. I'm seeing vegan on the dark chocolate bars. Both of these are dark chocolate. Both of these say vegan in big, bold letters. The milk chocolate ones do not say vegan. They probably put something in there. Not so just know that. Um, <clears throat> I'm a fan of orange and chocolate. I've said it before. I prefer orange and milk, milk chocolate. Yeah. But I think they did a really good mm -hmm. job with this. Mm -hmm. I like this, uh, the snap of it. I like the texture of it. Yeah, it's always crumbly. Um, this is hard. not something that I could, I couldn't even eat half of the bar. No, it's too strong. It's, it's a too very, dark. very dark. It's, it's very drying. But that's... If you are a fan of dark chocolate, then I do think you're going to appreciate the quality. Of yeah, this. the quality is excellent. The flavors are very bold, mm -hmm. and very strong in the, in the chocolate. So all these have been good. Yes. There's some I'd pick over others, but I think they're all good. Right. I think I, my favorite, though, would probably just be the Venezuelan the sea, sea salt flakes. with milk chocolate. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. Yeah. Now, these were $4, $3.99 a piece here. So, if you have seen these in the UK, we'll be very curious to know how much do you pay for them over mm -hmm. there. Because, you know, when we go on trips, we're always looking for new food. I can honestly say I never saw these no. while we were there. No, never. So, if you've seen them, let us know. Where do they sell them and how much do they cost? And I'll have a picture for you at the end. So, thanks for watching.